Hey guys, Ramesh here. Welcome back to React Hooks Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Series. In a previous video, we have connected our React application with Get All Employees REST API and we have populated the response of the REST API on our web page. In this video, we are going to create a header and footer for our React application. Okay, and we are going to use a React functional component to create header and footer. Well, let's head over to Visual Studio Code ID and go to Components folder and just create a file named header component.js and within this file we are going to create a stateless functional component well i want to use arrow function so again we are going to use a react snippet here to quickly create a functional component well just type the command react arrow functional component and export okay export so go ahead and choose this one so here I'm using arrow function, but you can use a JavaScript function to create a functional component. Perfect. Now go to div within a div, just create a header, HTML header, and within header, just have a navigation bar. Okay, and then add a bootstrap CSS class to just make this nav bar you know stylish. And we're going to have a dark color at a background and then within a navigation bar we will have one div okay and within a div we will have an anchor tag and we have a href attribute and i'm going to give a link to my blog website but you can give any link that you want javaguides.net okay and just have a css class something like navbar brand okay and here I'm going to give application name something like employee management application perfect save okay we have created a simple header component now now we're going to create a footer component we'll go to components folder again and let's give file name as footer component dot js and again we are going to use react snippet here just type the command react arrow functional component export export and just hit enter and within a due we are going to write uh, you know code to design the footer in a due just have one footer html element okay and just view css class name something like footer and within a footer html element just create one spam html element saying like all rights reserved 2021 java guides okay so typically in portal we mention the copyright details right great now we have created one custom css so we're gonna add a custom css code in app.css file so go to app.css file and this code we are not using so let me remove it and let me quickly write a custom css here so this is a footer custom css class with position bottom width height and background background color text align and color okay so you can just type line by line or you can just copy uh, this code from my github repository i will provide a link in a video description we'll just save it now we have created a header component and footer component we want to import these two components in a app.js file go to app.js file and here we have a list component already at the top of the list component we are going to have a header component and make sure that header component is imported at the top and after list employee component we're gonna just simply call putter employee putter component and make sure that putter component is imported at the top okay great now let's save the file and there are no compilation error let's head over to chrome browser and let's see how our application looks like and there we go header is successfully added with application name employee management application and putter is also added here putter is fixed fixed one okay all right now we have added header and putter to our react application in next video what we'll do we'll add a routing uh, in our react application we'll see how we can configure routing in react application and how 
we can provide the routes for different uh, react components okay i will see you in next video